Dear faithful Catholics, we would like to endeavor to vocalize this beautiful book for Catholics named The Catechism in Pictures. This book contains the catechism with meaningful and traditional pictures demonstrating the key truths of our Catholic faith. The pictures are packed with symbolism which is explained in the opposite page along with the church's teaching on the matter. This audio resource could be used for teaching your children about the faith, preparing them for the first holy communion and honestly many adults even don't know many things covered in this book hence we would try to ensure to cover all that is in this book and we'll also try to put the images used in this book in as much clarity as possible for the sake of the faithful watching this video our objective is to spread the true catholic faith through these catechism lessons to the whole world we don't expect Patreon for this site, but just a couple of small favors in return. 1. Spread these videos to as many souls as possible whom you really love and care. And 2. Please remember us in your prayer. Thank you. And now, I am going to read out to you the two prefaces to this book, The Catechism in Pictures. Preface 1 of the original English edition. In 1905, in his encyclical Acervo Nemes, Pope St. Pius X regarded the ignorance of the truths of the faith as the principal source of the evils that afflicted his time. More than a century has passed since this encyclical was promulgated. Religious ignorance has increased to an extent that perhaps St. Pius X could not even have imagined, and with it, the evils of our time have multiplied in the same proportion. To remedy the religious ignorance of his day, the Holy Pope ordered that the Catechism be taught to children in a way that would engage their interests and their understanding with a view to forming their wills towards goodness. The task of the Catechist is to take up one or the other of the truths of faith or of Christian morality and then explain it in all parts the sincere amendment of life is the chief aim of his instruction. The catechist must needs make a comparison between what God commands us to do and what is our actual conduct. After this, he will use examples appropriately taken from the Holy Scriptures, church history and the lives of the saints, thus moving his hearers and clearly pointing out to them how they are to regulate their own conduct. He should, in conclusion, earnestly exhort all present to dread and avoid vice and to practice virtue. In the same encyclical letter on the teaching of Christian doctrine, it is enacted, quote, 1. That all parish priests, and in general, all those interested with the care of souls, shall on every Sunday and feast day throughout the year, without exception, gave boys and girls an hour's instruction from the catechism on those things which everyone must believe and do in order to be saved. 2. At stated times during the year, they shall prepare boys and girls by continued instruction, lasting several days, to receive the sacraments of penance and confirmation. 3. They shall likewise and with special care on all the weekdays in Lent, and if necessary, on other days after first feast of Easter, prepare boys and girls by suitable instruction and exhortations to make their first communion in a holy manner. 4. In each and every parish, the society, commonly called the Confraternity of Christian Doctrine, shall be canonically erected. Through this, the parish priests, especially in the places where there is scarcity of priests, will have lay helpers for the catechetical instruction in pious lay persons who will devote themselves to the office of teaching." Close quote. With the help of this catechism in pictures, the desire of Pope St. Pius X may be amply fulfilled. Each one of the 68 illustrations presents a synthesis of the truths of the faith, of Christian morality, of Holy Scripture, church history, and the lives of the saints, and each one is simply explained in the adjoining text. Despite its doctrinal richness, this catechism remains accessible 
to the meanest of intellects and equally important it is of captivating interest even to the most erudite of soul may the sacred heart of jesus through the immaculate heart of mary bless all those who apply themselves to the study of this happy work now moving on to the preface 2 of the indian english edition in these days when the knowledge of the true faith has diminished to such a point that most catholics are found to be completely ignorant of the fundamental truths of the religions we have seen fit to republish this catechism and pictures as an effective means of re-evangelizing the world and building up the faith of catholics everywhere modern printing methods have enabled us to bring out the pictures in their stunning original colors along with an easy to read typeface nowhere have the basic truths of our faith been better presented and explained than in this venerable catechism the pictures rivet the attention of the students to the book and challenge them to draw the meaning out of it for themselves the visual examples taken from scriptures in the lives of the saints are so aptly selected and so wide ranging that even priests and religious may find themselves curious to discover the true meaning for which they must humble themselves by consulting the ex- explanatory text the illustrations of heavenly truths are so powerfully presented that they inspire the reader with awe at the greatness of god the glory of heaven the lofty ideas presented to us by jesus christ and the unflinching morality of the ages anyone who picks up this book will not be left untouched by the sweet fragrance of religion that emanates from its pages for these reasons we make this book available in a splendor heretofore unseen to build up the faith of catholics everywhere finally the reader must know that all the proceeds of the sale of this fine heaven sent book go to support the indian mission the work of the church in india is far from complete many hundreds of millions remain in the darkness of idolatry only with the prayers and aims of ardent believers can we succeed in bringing the light of the gospel to this land united in charity in prayer and in love of souls redeemed by the precious blood of our divine savior